Matutu family, welcome to church today. My name is Elizabeth. And my name is Patrick. We are from Matutu Sui village and we are happy to be your hosts. Today, it is a very special day here at Watoto, right Patrick? Yes, Elizabeth. It is our Watoto Sunday. We get to celebrate what God is doing through Watoto Child Care Ministries. It's going to be awesome. Our sisters and brothers have been preparing something very special for you today. That's true. And the Watoto Children's Choir has a brand new song called Love Everlasting. Oh, we can't wait for you to hear it. But before that, our Toto Worship Academy team is ready to lead us in worship. So call your friends, family, neighbors, and let's celebrate Jesus in worship. Yeah. Are you ready to celebrate King Jesus? Rise up, rise up. Come on.
yes indeed he is a good God my name is Pauline when I was three years old my father died I was left in the hands of my grandmother who really struggled with taking care of me and my two other siblings it was really tough we lost all hope but when I was five years old a social worker came and took me to Watoto there I found a loving family God gave me a mother who really cared for me and loved me like I was her own I am a certified interior designer who is really passionate yes and I'm really grateful to God for that opportunity that he gave me to study and become what I am today. I know that God loves me, he cares for me. So no matter what you're going through right now, I want to tell you that God is faithful, he's unchanging, he's unstoppable. He is a good God and he is a good shepherd. So why don't you worship with us?
Her sole purpose on this earth is to love and take care of these little ones. I am not alone. We are more than 390 mothers. Brings fulfillment coaching these boys and girls, but most importantly, that I and the other coaches get to be father figures to them. Education is key, and here at Wadetro, we value it. We rescue Uganda's most vulnerable babies and ensure they receive medical care, nutrition, and love they desperately need. We embrace our ladies with God's love and empower them with tangible skills to reach their full potential. What a powerful worship session we have just heard being led by our very own Watoto children. Amazing. Today is our Watoto weekend where we take time to focus on the work that we do in caring for communities. So as Watoto, we celebrate Christ we and we care for community. And we're going to share with my beautiful wife, Vanita, here. It's always an honor to share with you. And before we dive into it, what's your highlight when it comes to caring for community? Well, Jules, I have the privilege of working with our program in Watoto neighborhood. And right there, one thing that always amazes me is that when we go out and find women, we look for the most vulnerable. Mm -hmm. And time and again, we find women literally lying in bed waiting to die mm. because life has been so tough, they've given up. And we come alongside them, take them by the hand, introduce them to the person and lordship of Jesus Christ. And when they meet Jesus, then their lives turn around. Right. They suddenly have a renewed sense of hope and purpose. And their life begins to make sense and unfold. And they begin to pursue the things that God has for them. Every time I see that, right. I'm blown away by the transforming power of God's love. That's good. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, but today, that's not going to be the focus. <laughs> I know Vanita would go on and we'll, we've been talking about neighborhood and we'll talk about it always. Yes. But today, we particularly want to zoom into the work we do with vulnerable children and orphans. So let's pray and dive into it. Father, I ask you to bless your word and Everyone who hears it, may they be challenged, oh God, to be engaged in this special work of caring for the orphan and the vulnerable child. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you have your Bible, please turn to Psalms 68. This is a psalm written by David and is actually a song. And here's what it says. May God arise May his enemies be scattered. May his foes flee before him. May you, O oh Lord, blow them away like smoke. As wax melts before the fire, may the wicked perish before God. Verse 3. But may the righteous be glad and rejoice before God. May they be happy and joyful. God wants us to be happy and joyful. Sing to God. Sing in praise of His name. Extol Him who rides on the clouds. Rejoice before Him. His name is the Lord. Verse 5, which is key for today. A father to the fatherless, a defender of widows is God in his holy dwelling. God sets the lonely in families. He leads out the prisoners with singing, but the rebellious live in a sun-scorched land. What an amazing 
portion of scripture and song that David wrote. God is a father to the fatherless. And that's the subject for today's uh, sharing we're going to do with Vanita. Indeed, I think it's such a great privilege yeah. to participate in the work of God our Father. It is. And when I think about it, I'm blown away. Mm -hmm. And James 1.27 really calls to me, and I know it's a call to each one of us. Yep. And in James 1.27, God says this, religion that God our Father accepts as pure and faultless is mm. this, to look after orphans and widows in their distress and to keep oneself yeah from being polluted by the world. Hmm. Here in this text of scripture, he calls to us yep. to look after the orphans and the widows. Yep. And that is what he considers as good religion. Hmm. And you know what? Our father is not calling us to do anything he doesn't do. Right. Like you just said, Jules, yep. he's the father yep. to the fatherless. Come on. He's a good, good father. Hmm. And you know what? He really, really cares for the fatherless. He does. So today we're going to unpack some of the ways that God our Father cares for the fatherless. Mm. And the first one is God protects the fatherless. Amen. Psalm 68 verse 1 says, May God arise. I love that. Mm -hmm. May his enemies be scattered. Mm. May his foes flee before him. That tells me if you're fatherless, He's going to arise on your behalf. Yes. You're not defenseless. Mm. Psalm 68 verse 5, our main scripture says, A defender of widows yep. is God in his holy dwelling. Mm. How beautiful, how That's cool amazing. is that? Is. We are not defenseless. We yep. are not alone at any one moment. Mm. In fact, I'm reminded of this story of this little girl. She was born premature, and her mother was, I suppose, unable to take care of her. And she wrapped that little baby up in polythene bag. And in the middle of the night, she threw her at a rubbish heap. And when she did that, um, the dog smelled the blood and they came and started to lick her and to bite her. And then as she was crying out, a woman who was passing by noticed and came and rescued her. And later, when she was taken care of and treated, she ended up in Watoto. Mm. And today, that little girl has grown up, and she's beautiful, yep. and she has a great future, and she's secure in the knowledge that she has a father in heaven yes. who is a father to the fatherless. Amazing. While she was still defenseless, yep. helpless, yep. very little, yep. God was looking out for her. He indeed protects the fatherless. What an amazing God. And we've seen over a thousand babies rescued just like that little girl. Praise God. He's a good God. But also as a father, God provides. You see, uh, if you're a child of God, you have an earthly father and the heavenly father. Now, here's the reality in life. Mm -hmm. Our earthly fathers are not perfect. They fail us. And even our earthly fathers may be absent or just they may not be there. They may have, you know, died due to whatever circumstances. Here, we experienced a lot of fathers dying because of war and HIV, AIDS. But you know, God says, even when our earthly fathers are not with us, he remains there as a heavenly father. Amen. Jesus teaching us to pray. He gave us language that was family language. In the Lord's Prayer, we pray, Our Father who is in heaven. And later on, we pray to Him and say, Give us today our daily bread. Why? Because as a good father to the fatherless, He is our provider. He provides daily bread. Psalm 146 and verse 9 says this, the Lord watches over the foreigner, the stranger, and it will be refugee in today's times, and sustains the fatherless and the widow. He is the sustainer as a father, providing for them each and every day. So how does God provide for the fatherless? He does it through his people, the church. 
That's right. He does it through his people. And I want to celebrate all of you who have captured the Father heart of God and said, I want to be God's hands. I want to be God's feet to care and provide for the fatherless by giving of your resources. Yes. I want to thank the tens of thousands of sponsors that have come alongside us and have said, hey, I know that God cares for the fatherless. True religion is to take care of the orphan. I want to be involved. And you've been doing it faithfully. Yes. Those partners and donors that have come, one of donations that have come because people wanted to participate in this work of God of providing for the fatherless. Listen, your generosity is making a huge difference in providing for these little boys and girls. I'm reminded of a story again. I yep. love stories. Yep, go ahead. Um, Liz again, um, her mother, yep. uh, actually her father, yep. her father was mentally unwell yep. and eventually he passed on. And when he passed on, her mother was left to fend for her and her siblings. Mm. And it was very difficult. Wow. So she struggled to put a meal on the table. And it was a real struggle. But eventually, as the Lord would have it, Liz's mom was led to neighborhood. And mm. there in neighborhood, she found a family right. of God that loved her and yeah. believed in her yeah. and supported her. And eventually, through the programs we run in neighborhood, Liz and her twin brother were taken into a Watoto school where they received education. Something they had not had before was provided for them because God is a father to the fathers. That's right. And then Lisa's mom herself, who was struggling to make ends meet, um, through the programs that we do in Watoto neighborhood, she was equipped with skills, and today she's running a beautiful Come business, yep. and she's able to provide for herself mm. and her family. He's a father to the fatherless. And how he provides. We're able to do the school. We're able to do the programs that empower the vulnerable women is because of the faithful giving of many people. That's right. And the other way through which God is a father to the fatherless is that he gives them identity yep. and belonging. Yep. And uh, when you think about it, if you have no father, you don't know your father. Mm. It's very difficult to have a sense of belonging or to have identity. Right. In fact, you might feel insecure, you don't belong. Mm. But when you know that God is your father, oh. then your identity is rooted right there in that truth. <laughs> in fact, in Psalm 68 verse 6, God sets the lonely in families. Right. I love that. It's so reassuring. And this... Is, is, is basically the foundation of our model as Watoto. Right. Gary and Marilyn, when we were starting out Watoto childcare, God spoke to them mm. and said, I want you to take care of the children. And Gary said, but I'm a pastor. Mm. I don't want to take care of kids. They're messy, they pee their pants. <laughs> and God told him, I didn't send you to Uganda to do what you wanted. Mm -hmm. I sent you to Uganda to do what I want. And so out of that, we started childcare. Right. And in this, God told Pastor Gary and Marilyn, our founders, that <laughs> I do not want you to put these children in an institution right. where there'll be a number. Mm. Rather, I want you to put them in a family mm. where there'll be a name mm. and a face. Come on. Remember, he puts the lonely in, in families. families. Yes. So today we have children, eight children in a home, with a mother, children who are helpless, who are abandoned, who had no future and hope, they're now in a home and they have brothers, they have sisters, yep. they have mothers, they have belonging, right. they have family, yes. and they have a great future. That's true. And that's what God does as a father. He doesn't just protect, he doesn't just provide, he makes sure that the fatherless have that belonging and that identity. That's right. And today, by the way, we, we have three children's villages and we've been having uh, in the past month uh, from our celebration points and even uh, Watoro Church in Juba, 
members of the church coming for a vision tour to get to see these villages and meet the children and the moms. And many of them are blown away. They're like, you Jules, mean? <laughs> yeah. I still get blown away. That's right. Every time I see it. it, it it's amazing. It's, it's amazing. amazing to be there and see what God is doing. So uh, we have three children's villages. Uh, and uh, right now, Vanita, we have about 3,700 children that we are caring for. Wow, imagine. We, we've decided to be what God would be to them, a father to them. That's what we are. We are imagine his hands that. and his feet. And in, in these three villages, we have, because some people think of a village and they're not too sure, we actually have... 385 individual homes that are hosting families. Right there, a sense of belonging. Yeah. They have school there. They have health care. Most importantly, they have church yeah. where they can gather as God's people. God has been good. He's good. He cares for the fatherless. It's been an honor as Watoto to be able to care for all of these. In fact, since uh, Watoro Child Care began, over 5,500 yes. have been through our hands and we've been God's hands to them, providing a sense of belonging and identity. That's what God the Father does for the fatherless. And so we want to carry on and... Uh, pretty much come to an end, because as much we can talk about God being a father to the fatherless. The other thing, Vanita, that God does as a father to the fatherless is God nurtures the potential of the fatherless. That's right. Any father desires to see their children rise up to be everything God wants them to be. The same is true of God. God, the father to the fatherless, is committed to seeing the potential of every little abandoned boy and girl or orphan boy and girl live to their full potential. Mm -hmm. And at Watoto, so we don't just rescue these little boys and girls, we are committed to raising them to be godly transformational leaders. Who would do what? Who would, in turn, rebuild the nation? Because we believe in the potential that God has placed in every single child. And so we design discipleship programs. We design life skills. Our schools are set up to harness the potential of these little children. Why? Because God is a father to the fatherless. And we have chosen to be involved in this noble work of God our Father that you said, James 1, 27, of caring for the orphan and the widow. And you know, Jules, because yep. of that, today we're already seeing boys and girls yep. who yesterday were abandoned and yep. fatherless Yep. Today, they are becoming great and amazing things. Mm. The people in worship, instrumentalists here yes, in church, that's true. out in the marketplace, we have lawyers, we yep. have teachers, we have accountants, we have doctors and nurses, right. we have businessmen and women, yep. we have mothers and fathers. It's amazing. It's mind-blowing, the potential that's unleashed when you put these fatherless ones in the hands of a loving God and Father. Amazing. Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 5 says this, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you, God says. Before you were born, I set you apart and I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. Here's what God is saying. Before anybody comes to life in the womb of the mother, Regardless of the circumstances, God says, I know them. Yeah. I know them. God says, I set you apart. 
and I have appointed you. Why? God sees the potential in every child. You know how we see our children? We see them as godly transformational leaders. We use the eyes of God the Father to the fatherless yes. to see our children. One time, Vanita, I was talking to somebody. Uh, in fact, they are a leader. And they were challenging me and saying, but as we're taught, oh, you really do a lot for these children. You, you literally, he was saying, you provide too much for them. You know, I looked at her and I said, I, I thank you for your concern, but here's the thing. We're not just carrying out a good social program. No. No. We are actually carrying out God's work. That's right. It's God who spoke to our founders, Gary and Marilyn, to do this. And God made it clear, take care of my children. Mm -hmm. So the way we take care of these precious 3,700 children that we have now is like we would take care of our children. Absolutely. Heil, Hank, Hanella, and Hali. We just see those lovely children just as our children. They are our sons and daughters. In fact, there's a time we were beginning to have language that wasn't reflecting family. We began to call them beneficiaries and said, I, I don't look at my own children. It was actually Gary who said, do I look at my own sons and daughters as beneficiaries? No, they are sons and daughters and they have huge potential. So as Watoto, we are committed to yeah. saying that every single boy and girl that God brings into our total homes will become a responsible Christian and a productive citizen. Same. That is a godly transformational leader. That's our goal. And so uh, we've seen uh, today that God is a father to the fatherless. He is. And the way he cares for, for the fatherless, how does he do it? Yeah. Um, he protects them. Yes. He provides for them. That's true. He gives them identity and belonging. Yep. And lastly, he nurtures every single one of them to live to their fullest potential. potential. Now, we're going to watch a video right now, and it's going to take you through a journey of uh, our beginning of this work of caring for community, looking after the vulnerable children, the fatherless, and you're going to see some stories of what they are today. During that time that God began to very clearly speak to me and, and one day said to me, he said, Gary, I want you to look after my children. He didn't say that children, he said my children. Instantly I knew that it was the orphan because the orphan, he's the father of the fatherless. like this, you feel like you're normal, I should say. You feel love, you feel you're at home, and you live a normal life. They just brought everything all together right here. We have our own clinic, and they started up a farm growing vegetables and all that. We have a school up on the hill. We have a vocational institute. When we go out to the local community, people out there look at us and they are like, you guys are really blessed, you guys are privileged, you guys have this very big opportunity. And truthfully, it is true. And when I look at it, I'm like, oh God, I think I am on your best list. Because it's good.
I love a total because they are raising me in a family. Because they care for me. They have made it possible for me to go to school. I'm being raised by Watoto. I want to be a doctor. When I grow up, I want to be a doctor. I want to be a lawyer. I want to be a... <laughs> God knows. Through Watoto, I was able to get an education, travel with the children's choir, both as a child and an adult. Right now, I get to serve as one of the creative leaders here at Porto. Hi, I'm Frank and I'm Eleven. And I grew up, I want to be a pilot. Everything is my private pilot's license. Way before I joined Watoto, there's no hope. But I'm a pilot now. I see a dream come true. God changed my story. I'm filled with joy. <laughs> my name is Frank. Thank you for loving and supporting Watoto. I am always inspired when I watch those videos. And to me, they are more than video stories. They are so real. Vanita and I are first-hand witnesses. Our children go to the Watoto school in Ntinda, and guess what? The teachers there are our own Watoto children that have graduated, and today they're amazing teachers. God is at work through caring for these lovely children. So over the past number of weeks, we've been asking you to prepare and set aside an offering that we are going to give today to help us in rescuing these little boys and girls so that they can be raised to be godly transformational leaders in a healthy environment of family. So get your offering ready right now. And I encourage you to be generous. You know, the Bible says that we must accompany our faith with action because faith without action is dead. So get ready to be absolutely generous. As the leadership here at Watoto, we also decided, I mean, we have needs and things that we need to be doing, but we have decided that this weekend, 50% of our tithes and offerings, we're going to dedicate it to rescuing vulnerable boys and girls. And that's why I'm challenging you to be extra generous. And for some of you, you want to sponsor. You want to be a sponsor, giving consistently 70,000 shillings. If you're here in Uganda, every month it will go a long way. You can write to us at sponsorship at Watoto Church dot com and someone will be in touch with you or you can text the number on your screen now before the giving instructions come there is one more thing that god the father does is that he rescues people from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light if you know you're living far away from god he wants to be your father he wants to rescue you from a life of sin and shame and regret and give you a brand new life. If you'd like somebody to pray with you, please, there's contacts on your screen. Just text those numbers as well and someone will be in touch with you or you can, you can email us, connect at whatotochurch.com. Let's pray and get ready to give. And as we go through the giving, our children are coming to bless us some more. Now, Father, I want to thank you so much that, yes, you have given us the opportunity and the privilege to participate in your work of rescuing vulnerable children and women. And today I pray for a spirit of generosity. May we give over and above the usual because we want to see more children rescued and raised to be godly transformational leaders. Bless your people as they give. And for those ones that are saying yes to Jesus today, give them a brand new life in Jesus' name. Amen. Please take a moment to visit our website at watertochurch.com forward slash giving to find the most convenient giving option for you. You can also scan the QR code on your screen to open up our giving page. If you'd like to give via mobile money, you can find all the instructions for your specific carrier and respective codes. 
A secure option for those who wish to give through Visa or MasterCard debit or credit cards is also available. Details for other giving options including checks, bank transfer or agent banking can also be found on this page. Should you stay close to one of our 14 celebration points, we have secure gift boxes available for you to drop off your envelope if this is more convenient. And for those of you watching from Juba, South Sudan, we have giving options especially for you through Bank Transfer and M. Gurush. Thank you for your faithfulness in helping to build God's kingdom. All of us on this stage have experienced the love of Jesus. That's why we sing and dance with all that we have. We know who God is and what He has done for us. Psalm 136 from verse 1 to 4 says, Give thanks to the Lord for He is good. Give thanks to the God of gods. Give thanks to the Lord of lords. To Him who alone does great wonders. So please, Join us wherever you are and let's celebrate his everlasting love for us. Are you ready? I can't imagine how much you love me. When I was desperate, you came to find me. Jesus, your love has set me free. You never give up, you never hold back. Jesus, you never let go. Nothing can take me away from your love. I love that. Here we go. Everlasting. Oh, 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 oh. Your love everlasting. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. My team, uh, 
Uh, that's my general manager and my chef who are looking for interns who we could be able to mentor towards the next level of hospitality. So um, our chef Derek mentioned about Watoto and we were very keen, I was very keen to be able to know uh, what more of Watoto we could, we could help. Well, the students that we have had join us, uh, I think for about two months now, uh, are failing, are faring really well. You have those that of course still need more personal touch on training, on, on guidance on how the hotel system runs. Uh, but it's going on really well. The kids are picking. We have waiters who can now close bills, have managed their own float of cash and run a full shift on, on the day. We have kids who are now baking the bread in the kitchen. So it's going really well. At least it's a fun environment. From the time I joined a normal hotel, I've gained a lot of skills for the front office. I've known how to cooperate with my guests, the guests that come in, the guests that go out, how I handle them, and for the food service department, how I have to serve. It's a good space for these kids to get exposure early in the, in the work industry. Uh, in school, it's all theory and Practical is not as much as you get in the field because these are very capital intensive subjects. I mean, what it would cost you to teach a child how to butcher a cow would be a whole cow, which is probably about four million shillings for just one lesson. So these are very expensive things for them to learn. The hotel systems that we use that are used internationally, Opera, uh, Oracle using Micros, these are very expensive that schools don't necessarily have at the, at the school. So for them to be exposed to these systems early, they get to the to the work environment with at least some experience on their on their card. I'm calling out to everybody, uh, hotel establishments, restaurants, the biggest restaurants in in Uganda right now, the hotels. Please open up your doors to these students. Uh, we can only take on so many, and it's a very big school. There are more schools coming up. These guys need apprenticeship early in their stages before it's too late. So open up your doors. If you can take on five students, ten students. You can start with one, it all matters. So please, take on these students to study in your hotels. I'm Beatrice. I was rescued by Watoto. This is one of my family photos. I used to live with this beautiful family until one day, everything changed. When the LRA rebels came into our home, they took me, my aunties, and two of my cousins into the bush. At that camp, one of my cousins was shot. I also saw they raped my auntie, and when I tried to scream, they beat me and left me unconscious. They wanted to rope other people and they left us to keep watch. One of the other girls told us this is the time, we have to escape from this place. When it was my turn, I ran fast. I was scared that if they get me, that will be the end of my life. Ladies and gentlemen, empowering formerly abducted boys and girls, these are stories of restoration. Watoto proudly presents Restored to a Child Soldier No More. This is me when I was in Resto Tour. I used to dance with big smile, as you can see. When I'm dancing, I feel happy to the extent that I feel like I'm making other people also happy. Resto Tour was more than a tour. It gave me healing and hope. I forgive the rebels for abducting me. I forgive them for beating me and leaving me unconscious. I joined Watoto in 2008, where I met brothers and sisters, a mom that loved me and made me feel at home. When I came to Watoto, I found a family. Now you bring your sauce. Right now, I'm 
making beef curry. So I am chop my garlic, tomatoes, the onions. I have hope. I'm now not that scared. I want to be a powerful lady and also I would love to be a great chef. <laughs> Many girls and boys have been rescued and their life has changed. The people who had no hope like me now have hope. I really love this new song, Love Everlasting. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Yes, I enjoyed it too. Pastor Julius and Auntie Vanita reminded us that God is the father to the fatherless. We're total family. Through your giving, children like Patrick and I have experienced God's love and can now dream again. Thank you. Well, in case you need prayer and counseling, call the numbers on your screen. Thank you for joining us for service. God bless you. Bye-bye.